In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite blitz against the bunch formation. I'm also going to give you a couple of adjustments that you can do out of this that is going to make this even better. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos like this all the time on my channel. We upload several videos every single day. Um, if you want to get my full nickel normal defensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to my Patreon in the description. By becoming a Patreon member, you're going to get access to all 22 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks. In addition to that, we're also going to give you every update that we've put into the Patreon membership all season long. Every week we update it with little tweaks, little twists, um, little nuances that as we get better at this game, we discover different things, right? Different adjustments for trips, different adjustments for bunch, different adjustments for random formations, things like that. So if you want to learn all of that material, that is going to be in my Patreon. You can join that by clicking the link down below. But today I wanted to talk to you about a blitzing concept against Bunch. And really this is a blitzing, it's universal, um, but it does require a little bit of setup, okay? Um, but it is probably, in my opinion, the best six-man pressure in the game. You're going to guarantee yourself pressure against regardless of what pass protection system they're going to when their blocking is like a bunch formation. There are two primary forms of blocking in Madden 22. There's trips blocking and there's bunch blocking. So this is primarily for formations that are like wide trips weak, U trips, um, shotgun doubles HB weak. When the tight end's on one side of the formation and the running back is on the other side, this is, in my opinion, the best way to get pressure. So the play comes to us out of the nickel normal. We're in San Francisco's playbook. And we're going to be going over the nickel blitz too. Okay. So all we're going to do is we're going to pinch our line or I apologize. We're going to pinch our, pinch our defense. We're going to blitz our linebackers. We're going to move this guy out here just like this, but we want to get, we want to kind of swing him out wide. So we kind of want to like get him out here and that's pretty much it. And then the last thing I like to do is crash my line down. Just helps a little bit with the pressure. And then you're going to stand over the center. And what you're going to see here is if we do this right, we should at least get one person in, if not two people in. Now, let me show you a little bit more as to why I like to do this blitz against Bunch. So, um, if you wanted to just do a five-man variation of this, all you have to do is zone off the nickel corner. You're still sliding this guy out. You want to get him out here. You don't. You don't. You got to practice the slide out a little bit. But if you get good at the slide out, it really helps us a lot. This pressure right here is really 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 good against bunch because in order for them to pick it up they basically have to block their tight end and their running back so again just pop this guy out um and again you notice notice that if i don't move him wide enough um it doesn't put him where i want him so i like to just kind of throw him out just like this now there used to be a blitz in madden i want to say it was 13 that was really 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 good when you did this and this is basically that, okay? So as you can see, this, let me just show you the play art. This is the five man, whoops. I don't know why he's not on the contain anymore. Um, if he's not on a contain, you might have to slide him in just a little bit, but you want him on the contain. Anyway, this is your five blints variation. It's really good against a blocked running back. And if you notice, it's, I think it's actually better than the three, three, five wide blitz because the, the linebacker um, actually gets a little bit of a turbo uh, this with this. So again, if you, you see how, again, I just want to get him, you know, about a player's length away and I want to get him off the line of scrimmage. So again, kind of fiddle with the placement deal. Um, and it will make it, it will make it really good, but you, you don't have to get him super close to the guy. It's actually probably more advantageous if you don't. Right. But anyways, if you take a look at this, you'll notice, and you could stand off to the center. I like to stand kind of right in here, kind of suck the D or the line this way. But look at the turbo boost that that linebacker gets on that pressure. And that's just a five-man, um, that's just a simple five-man version of this. Now, um, let me show you what happens when the opponent blocks a tight end. So again, we're right here. We're going to simply slide him outside just like this, contain him. Notice that I can get him this far out and he's still on the contain. That's perfect, okay? And then what you'll see here, this, I accidentally uh, messed up. I sent the six man, as you can see, it absolutely screams. The six man is insane. Um, they literally can't block the six man. Like it's an unblockable blitz. There's a lot they have to do to be able to pick this up. So slide this guy out and do it generously so that he doesn't come back inside. 
and then let me get this guy in a coverage and then you notice that the line crash is a little bit weird what I like to do is just crash the line to the right if you just crash the line to the right typically that's good enough um, you could also crash them down uh, as you can see right there it didn't mess it, it did mess it up but just crash them down crash them out it, whatever you want to do honestly just crash them one direction so that the blitz angles aren't so extra extra kind of thing so you see how they're super slanted if we just crash them down typically that's enough that's plenty and then you'll see right here this typically doesn't always come in if they block their tight end kind of like three three five wide right it does sometimes but it doesn't all the time right we want consistency so what i like to do is if they're consistently blocking their tight end then i will send this version of the blitz which is the six man version because i don't have to worry about the tight end wheel right i just have to worry about the running back so i'm just going to run right to the running back and what you should see here is it should come in off of one of the edges now with the six man you don't really have to crash your line any direction if anything you want to crash your line down but you really don't have to cr crash your line any direction so as you can see right here you know literally just do this you'll see the tight end sucks in 99.9 percent .9 of the time and you'll either get a gap or you'll get edge heat off of the back side of this um and again the cool part about this blitz too by the way is this is flip proof so let's say that they flip their bunch a lot this is flip flip uh, flip proof okay and what i mean by that is if you take a look at this they're basically in the same spot regardless you see how he's over the nickel corner or the or the slot corner this guy's off of the edge right so it makes it really simple so like if we're in this situation right here we'll still be able to send the blitz just fine no problem and they motioned around and changed their formation up okay so you see there it's a it's a real simple defense and it really is one of my favorite my favorite defense in the in the in the game if you want to slide your linebackers that direction you certainly can um it doesn't hurt the blitz if anything it makes it a little bit better it's just a little bit more of a to-do um but anyways notice that against max protect bunch it still comes in and that's what makes this blitz so good is that they they really can't pick this up and that's the the real beauty behind this defense so again you want to get this guy to where he's on the contain so you see how the d ends on the contain we want this guy to be on the contain we don't necessarily have to pinch our line we don't have to do all that if we don't want to i'd like it because i think it makes it better but as long as he's on the contain typically that means somebody's going to come in now again when the linemen are wider widened out um it can make this a little bit less effective okay so that's why just to be safe i'll just always move this guy out and then again here this is the um you know you could stand right here if you want to with this pressure but against a blocked running back it's really typically very good you just got to mess a little bit with the line crash sometimes the crash to the right um isn't as effective so you know just to be safe you can always just crash them down you can crash them out even if you want to i'll show you that in just a second but anyways as you can see right here you know when they try to block their running back um, that little blitz angle right there you're gonna get some disengages and things like that um, that make this blitz really really go now you can do this out of any play so if you want to do this out of cover three buzz for example um, it's a little bit easier because you see how the linemen aren't on any weird stunting that means you don't have to do anything right you don't have to do anything whatsoever um, you can do this little concept right here on the back side to stop the running back wheel and what you'll see is this creates really glitchy pressure at the quarterback so this is probably my favorite way to blitz because again if they flip their bunch notice that he's an avert hook right so if they flip their bunch no sweat off my back literally i'm not doing anything i'm not moving i'm not moving it i'm not changing it we're gonna send it off of this side now and what i like to do in this scenario is i'll typically in this example i will crash my line out it just makes this blitz a little bit more consistent and as you can see off of that edge right there so um to me you know real simple if you want the best i think the best of both worlds uh from this pressure and you want to send it off at both edges simply crash your line out or crash your line to the right if you crash your line to the right and it's a max pro 90 percent of the time it's going to come in um off of that left edge you just gotta tinker a little bit with the placement of that of that linebacker and it'll make all the difference in the world 
But this simple defense, and again, I, I just think it's easier to pinch your defense and move him out than try to shift your linebackers and then move him out. And as you can see here, I mean, you talk about one of the better blitzes in the game. I think this is I think this is every bit as good as like a 4-3 even type of defense or whatever. You actually don't have to contain if you don't want to. If you're not too worried about the max protecting, you don't have to contain this defense. Um, but if you are worried about the max protecting you, then you might want to, but you'll notice right here, like it's still going to come in. It's just going to come in a little bit wonkier. The blocks running back is going to have a lot more success if you don't contain. Okay. But that is, this is the nickel blitz uh, defense. Like I said, real simple. I love to double contain and double crash line out. And then you're just trying to get the center to kind of get some attention here. And if you can get that center's attention, even if you don't always get him, you're going to scream at the quarterback. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn the rest of the nickel normal defense, link to the Patreon is in the description below. You can check that out. It gets, uh, gets you access to everything. It gets you all my eBooks. And uh, I really think that the nickel normal is the best combination of pressure, coverage, and run defense. Very symmetrical formation. Um, it's flip proof. There's a lot of advantages to it. So check out that defense. Again, link is in the description.